In this video, I take on a double Zachary team using free-to-play tunes. The defense is designed to rush on turn one, using Nick as a commander and utilizing 8% AP weapons. The team I choose to use has two five-star tunes, Priya and Kate. I utilize two 8% weapons, as well as Michelle as a leader, so when I attack with Priya, I am able to command her right after and rush with her. Her rush confuses three tunes for two turns. My team is designed to prevent the other team from rushing early and destroying my team in either turn one or turn two. I brought in Michelle as a leader because of her leadership skill, being plus 40 attack, as well as a huge bonus to AP to all fast and alert tunes. Her rush also does damage and applies stun to two tunes for two turns. I chose to taunt Rick with Charlie but could have chosen Zachary as well, because I equipped my Charlie with a bleed resist mod. I then attack the top Zachary to gain AP. When the opponent attacks, the confused Zachary ends up applying Hemobleed to the other Zachary. The attacks from the defense are random because there is no type advantage. On my turn, I use Michelle's active skill in order to give plus 35% AP to two tunes. This gives both Michelle and Charlie their rush. I use Nick's command in order to command Michelle and use her rush to attack both Zachary's, which applies bleed damage and stun. I use Charlie's rush to kill the one Zachary and apply damage to Nick. I could have used Charlie's rush on the other Zachary and Rick, but I feared if I used Charlie's rush, I would have charged Rick and he would be able to rush. I use Kate's Rush to apply healing to my team, plus 50 attack, and focus. This way, if a tune like Rick or Andrea rushes, my tunes will not be affected by the taunt. This turn, I leave Zachary. With the bleed damage applied to him, he should die in the following turn. I target Rick with my Charlie in order to taunt him. Because my team is focused, I don't worry about Andrea rushing, so I focus on Nick. I get lucky when I attack, when I'm able to apply an AP drain. I get lucky a second time when my Priya attacks Andrea and also applies an AP drain to her. I like utilizing AP drain mods because there's no way to block AP drains or gains. In this turn, Zachary bleeds out and Nick takes some bleed damage as well. Rick has a full AP bar, meaning I have to deal with him this turn. Thankfully. My whole team is still focused from Kate's rush earlier. From the previous turn, Nick was able to focus both Andrea and Rick, meaning Taunt and Confuse will have no effect on either of those two tunes. I still opt to use Prius Confuse in order to confuse them for at least one additional turn once the focus wears off. I kill Nick first and then target Andrea. In this case, I want Rick to rush because if I happen to AP drain him, he might use his active skill and revive one of the two Zacharys. Two of my tunes have been taunted by Rick, forcing them to attack him. This turn, I choose to target Rick with Charlie in order to taunt him and prevent the active skill from occurring. After taunting Rick, I focus fire back onto Andrea and am able to apply AP drain again. This turn, both tunes are under a guardian shield, and this prevents me from using Michelle's rush in order to stun both tunes. I still use Michelle's rush in order to stun Andrea. I then follow up by using Charlie's rush, which also applies bleed damage like Michelle's. This turn, Rick uses his active skill to revive Zachary, who rushes, but my Charlie, Michelle, and Nick Resist the maim damage. I am now on the clock to finish this raid. This attack team is not the best for attacking this team, especially in war. In a raid, you can use a slower attack team because unlike war, you are not worried about being destroyed before you finish your attack. As you see, I utilize Priya's rush a lot. Her confused to three tunes for two turns helps me control the opposition. Here I distinguish the main tune of worry to be Rick because of his guardian shield, his active skill, and his rush. This next turn, I have three tunes who are ready to rush. 
I now have to make a decision though on who I need to attack because all three tombs have their full AP. I use Priya to break the Guardian Shield on Zachary and then use Michelle's Rush on Zachary, which killed both Zachary and Rick. I then use Charlie's Rush to finish Andrea. Although this wasn't a very clean or fast raid, it did give me a baseline on what I need to do when attacking this type of team in war. And now you see this raid at full speed. What I have learned from my raiding is that I need to control these fast rushing teams by rushing even faster. This can be done by using a command tune and rushing on turn one in order to apply some status issue to the main composition of a team. The tune that I like to focus on on turn one is the commander because without the commander, the team cannot rush on turn one on defense. There are other approaches to this. You can also utilize AP drain mods on your tunes. You can also try using special weapons like Charlie's taunt, Romanoff's taunt, the confuse on attack weapon from the premier stash, and so on. You can also utilize the maim resist mods on teams like this because the maim resist mods will resist both the maim flat damage and the maim that decreases your max HP. A tune that I wish I had is Yellow Yumiko, who can confound one tune whenever she does a critical hit. These fast rushing teams really require you to have a thorough understanding of your tunes and their abilities. A lot of these new teams that are coming out require you to use a lot of strategic thinking in order to beat them. Power can only get you so far. Sometimes you just need to leverage what you have and understand the composition of not only your team, but the composition of a defender's team. I would like to reiterate here that my method is probably not the best method, but it is a way that I have found that has worked. I have seen some teams that rely on stun and attack weapons and AP drain mods, as well as different weapons like taunt off of Romanoff. If you have found a specific way of beating these double Zachary teams, please feel free to line me at link assist with a period at the end. I would love to hear about how you have accomplished beating these fast rushing teams. Better yet, I would love to get some video from all of you about successful and failed attacks on double Zachary teams. Whether it's by using free to play tunes, premier tunes, or a mixture of the two, my line ID can be found in the description box below. Thank you again for watching and listening to my video. I hope you picked up some useful tips and tricks on how I tackle these teams.